Hey y'all, this is Lauren from One Anna Two Girls and Lord have mercy, has it been a hot minute since I have recorded and shown you some of the beautiful, fabulous things that we're doing here at One Anna Two Girls. So, so sorry for the delay and the long time since I've been able to talk with you and have a um, one-sided chat with y'all. But there have been so many things going on. So life updates and some quilting, lots of quilting, cross-stitching, scrapbooking, um, all kinds of things have been going on. So classes um, and health, health being the biggest thing. So Lord, there was COVID, there was flu, there was, um, let's see, what else? Um, thyroids, thyroid issues. Um, scanning for that, there was um, COVID, Nana was hospitalized with the COVID too, so just all kinds of things. And then um, I had to have a rather large foot surgery and um, calf surgery in February. So, so many things have been going on and just now able to take a few minutes and a, and a breather to send you a quick message. I did pre-record some of the um, little snippets of some Easter designs um, and our Easter tree. So I'll fill those in um, in the video. And uh, maybe at the end there, I'll put in those little snippets that I filmed um, downstairs. So um, just wanted to share everything uh, with you and let you know that we're here, we're still doing and, and healing. Um, I go to physical therapy three times a week and it takes several hours. Um, I'm working really hard to get back um, to my myself and uh, it's a long road, but hey, we're, we're working through it. And uh, Nana's recovering from her COVID. Um, that was just awful um, and terrible. So she's recovering. Um, still some after effects. Um, I'm sure some of you may have had the same thing happen here or there, but um, she's trying to take it easy and recover as well, but also wants to keep productive and moving and doing things too. So um, we had a lovely visit to um, Amish country in Ohio this past weekend, and um, we went to the uh, to a quilt shop hop. I'm going to talk to you about that too. So lots of good things here today. So I'm going to try and keep it quick and short and i um, going to start by showing you some beautiful spring and summery finishes and um, some uh, fully finished objects and then a couple finished and a couple quilts that we're working on putting the binding on and uh, another quilt um, that is ready to go to the quilter. So We've got so many quilts all over the place, I <laughs> have to gather them up and show them to you again another time. This beautiful quilt behind me, um, Nana made. This is a trip around the world. And then it's, um, I don't know if you can see out to the edges at all, but there's beautiful um, embroidery. I think it's called Invisible Machine Applique. And um, her technique, she used to teach lots of classes on that um, in the in the region here and surrounding states. So um, this is just a beautiful uh, quilt. I, I hung it sideways so you could see more of it, but um, it, it really does go up and down the other way. But I just wanted you to be able to see some of the beautiful work on the sides and everything. So beautiful spring colors there. Okay, let's get to some fully finished, except I didn't remember this one needs a bow at the top so anyway he's fully finished without his bow this is um april this is a lizzie kate um months and we finished it as a um flat fold and again with the ribbon there this is a mounted flat fold and then it has the um custom uh trim here that we use the chronic custom quarter and this particular floss is one of the DMC um, variations. I'm not sure of the number of that um, particular one, but it matched perfectly. Hopefully y'all can see that really clearly. And this cute little bunny, he's done in the um, Weeks Dye Works whitewash. So that just came out super cute. Yeah, that's really nice. Papa stitched this one. Super cute. And here's my hippity hoppity cotton tail. He's finally done, got him done. 
after Lord knows how long I was working on this guy, but he's so cute. And I went with a wired ribbon, not something that I normally do, but we have a couple finished pieces that we use the wire ribbon and we played around with it, trying to put it here, put it in the middle over here. We just couldn't make up our mind, but it's final, uh, place here um, on the upper corner we thought was super cute and the carrots match his carrot exactly and then again this is a dmc variations floss i'm not sure of the number but if you want to know i can um, certainly tell you so just ask and um, finish that around there it matched perfectly with the greens in the design and just did the green polka dot fabric for the mounted flat fold super cute Great stuff for Easter. All right, here is one for um, May that I finished um, over the winter. And this is the Lizzie Kate uh, Bit of Months. I believe that's what this one's called. Um, this might be Months with Charm. Anyway, one of them is a Bit of Months. That might be this one. And one of them is Months with Charm. I think this is the Charm one. And this is the Bit of. I could have that completely backwards, y'all, so please forgive me. But we finished that off with a cute little gingham bow and a beautiful blue fabric that matched that awesome blue in the um, word and in the kite. I switched out the yellow in the kite, the called for yellow. It was like a really muted um, tannish color. And for May, it just was calling out that it needed a bright yellow. So I just put the bright yellow in there and then made the little bow on the tail in the bright yellow as well. But I think that came out super. I just love it. I just love tulips too. Okay, here's another summer finish on a um, really unique board. I'll turn it around so you can see the board. This is a board that Papa made and um, it fit this design perfect. It was just absolutely perfect. Um, this shape is called a horn book. And I believe, and everyone can correct me if I'm wrong, but a long time ago, <laughs> I don't know how long ago, students would use this in school. I believe that's the history of these. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is. And I think they would hold it like this and do their arithmetic and and writing. I don't know. I've not seen pictures of that, so I might have to look it up. But anyway, we're using it this way for our cross-stitch finishing, and he's done a really nice stain on here. It's so smooth. Just a great um, uh, piece of wood here that we um, reclaimed from an old table um, that we had gotten at one of the thrift shops around town. So we do love our thrifting, but it already had these three holes that made it so unique at that part of the table. We don't know why it had that, but it was, it was really unique. So anyway, we finished that on a mounted um, piece of fabric there with the stars. And then um, this is done on a Wichelt um, light blue, I think might be the color, a Wichelt light blue fabric there. And then this is just the called for DMC colors for the pattern. This is a um, Lizzie Kate pattern. And there was another design with this pattern in the same pattern. I, I didn't bring those um, with me to the studio, so I apologize. Um, and the other pattern was a, a longer pattern, so I went with this one. But from the other pattern, I stole the um, Liberty Bell and I created a smaller firework to fill in. There was a flower here, um, a large sunflower, and I didn't care for that um, with the patriotic theme. So I went ahead and I, I stole the Liberty Bell from the other pattern that was in the same um, Lizzie Kate pattern. And then again, just made that little firecracker there myself. And I think that came out really sweet. And then we just finished it with the um, cording made from the DMC floss. There's actually three or four different blues in this pattern, believe it or not. So we just chose one of those and we tied a cute little knot, um, kind of tying in with the whole um, patriotic nautical type theme um, with the little beach houses there and uh, left the other end like that. So I thought that was a really unique way 
Um, you can create your own way to finish, um, but uh, there's so many options, aren't there? It's so great. Everyone can do their own thing. Um, you can grab ideas from other people. That's, that's why we want to do this. We want to show you ideas um, so that you can go ahead and, and go forth and create your own too. You can, you can copy other people's ideas and, and do what they did to make it easy, or you can change it up a little bit and have your own piece. Now, this is um, mounted with the little Velcro um, circles. And I'll grab the package for you. Hang on. Here they are. And this is from the Velcro brand. And you'll have to excuse our chicken scratch on the packaging. Um, this is the Velcro brand of these. And they come on these little clear strips. And um, they come, this is the 5 8 size. And they also come in a 3 8 size. These are thin, clear fasteners from the Velcro brand. And they come on these little clear strips like this. So you have one side that is the more soft, fabricy side of the Velcro. And this side has the little um, pegs that are going to Velcro onto this. I don't know what to call them. Little Velcro. I'm not sure what they're called. But anyway, the rough side. Um, but it's not really rough. It's really actually smooth. So um, you just, and they're adhesive. So you just peel it off um, with its mate. Peel off one and match it up with the other. And find out where you're going to stick um, your Velcro on and we did one in each corner. Um, if we were doing a larger piece, we'd obviously do more of these Velcro strips. These little guys are really hard to find and we ended up finding them at Joann's. Thank you. At Joann's. Um, we had purchased them at Michael's before and they no longer carry this larger size. Um, so we did have to go and hunt these down elsewhere. So yes, Joann Fabrics. And so those are four finishes. I'm sure there's more, but I couldn't remember what they were. So I just brought those four. Anywho, this is a cute little geranium Santa, um, Prairie Schooler Santa. And this was done by Isabella. I'm not sure if I showed you this in the last video, so I apologize. But he is so cute with his watering can, his flowers. He's already with a seed packet. So he has yet to be made into his pillow. And Papa finished another stamp. He finished another stamp too. And it's probably downstairs. <laughs> I'll show it to you next time. He finished this stamp for September. So trying to work ahead here, get things done ahead of time. Not always easy, but when you can, you do, right? That's so sweet. So that's all the cross stitch there. And moving on, I wanted to show you um, just one of the quilts that we're working on. Um, we have two, the girls, one Nana, two girls. The, the two girls are headed off to college in the fall and they have been working on um, making their own quilt for their dorm. And then um, Nana's helping them make a throw as well. Um, but the girls sewed their um, twin extra long, as the college mattresses are, um, quilts all by themselves. And we helped with the cutting and stuff too. But um, they sewed everything all by themselves. And they are so beautiful. We can't wait to get those back from our quilter and share those with you. And the joy of, of them making um, something for themselves it, it's really, really awesome to see them so proud of themselves. But this is a table runner. This has to go to the quilter. It's in the pile to go. We got a big pile there. And this is a beautiful um, charm pack. It's berry something. I don't remember the name of the charm pack. Anyway, it's a Moda charm pack. And it does have the strawberries and blueberries in the pack. It's not brand new this year, um, but we did see a couple packs of this out in Ohio when we were there this weekend. But 
these beautiful, beautiful fabrics. If I pull it back this way, maybe you can see all of those. Just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Super easy. We already had the white on white in our stash. We had the five inch charm pack in our stash. Pair it up, sew your connecting sashing, and then sew the rows together and voila, you have a super, super quick table runner. Um, this is the back, if any of you like to see the backs of things, so you can have an idea of what that looks like pieced together but just so beautiful. It's all ready to rock and roll. Can't wait to have that back um, from Maria. Um, Alley A Quilting Loft um, is Maria's um, quilt business and she's local here to us, but she does um, accept orders and whatnot. So she is fabulous. Um, and let's see, we are putting binding on these two little quilts that were finished up. Now this was all hand quilted around the housing, the houses and the trees. That was all hand quilted. Um, but you can see we are doing the binding. Nana is putting the binding on here and we hold it down with the clips. And so as we go along, you just move the clip along and fold over more, move your clip along to there and do your corners. Is anyone interested in learning how to do quilt binding? Let us know. I'd be more than happy to um, show you the binding technique. Absolutely love, I love putting bindings on quilts. I, I, that is so weird, isn't it? Anyway, I love doing it. And it's um, super easy in my opinion. And um, I have a great method for it. So if anyone's interested, if, if you have quilters out there, um, if we have quilters out there or your friends are quilters, I'd be more than happy to do a tutorial. So let us know in the comments um, or send us a private message on Instagram and I'd be happy to show you and, and then happy to show you actually um, how to finish it around to the back. Um, we do all of our quilt binding um, to the back by hand. So no machine binding. Um, I do know that's very popular. It's very quick, um, but we just prefer to do it um, by hand. So this is a cute um, snowman quilt. Hopefully you can see all that here. So four snowmen on there. And again, get it's getting the binding on. Beautiful binding. There's a, there's a thread I forgot to clip off there clip that off. There's another one. <laughs> I go back and clip them off at the end. Don't worry. I won't leave my threads there. And again, we just use the clips and clip out so far and, um, you know, hand stitch to the back. And so I, I still have a little ways to go, but I was doing it in the car. So I'm going to finish that up over the next day or so. Just absolutely beautiful quilting. There's snowflakes and swirls. I mean, it really just looks like it's um, snowing all over these awesome snowmen. So that's coming along nice. It'll be all ready for a wall hanging for the winter. And now moving on to our weekend. Um, it was just like quilting all weekend, y'all. It was fabulous. Let's see, Thursday was the um, Gathering Stitches Shop Hop. That is in um, Ohio Amish country. So Holmes County, um, Charm, Ohio. So the cities are Sugar Creek, Millersburg, um, Walnut Creek, and Berlin. So in case um, those towns sound familiar to you, this is called Gathering Stitches. Um, two great events combined into one. Um, so they combined the quilting and cuisine and gathering stitches. So now they're just going to call it gathering stitches. So they do one in, um, the springtime in April, and then they'll do another one in the fall. So, um, they didn't have the, um, um, uh, card out for the fall one yet, but they have a website. Um, I think it's on Facebook. So they have a Facebook page. Let me rephrase that. Um, so there are six stores here. And Carlisle Fabric and Quilts, 
Chestnut Ridge Sewing, Lone Star Quilt Shop, Miller's Dry Goods, Plaid Sheep Company, and Helping Hands Quilt Shop. So what it is, is you go to the first store, and it can be any of the six stores, and you get your passport. So you'll get, um, this year, your passport was actually this awesome clear tote, and it has the gathering stitches, and then it lists the six stores. You probably can't see that because it's clear, and it lists the six stores on the tote bag, but it was so nice to have this tote bag. It, it was great. You could put all your papers in there and everything. So that's the gathering stitches. And at each of the stores that you visit, you get a free item, you get a, um, a tutorial, like a, a quick, um, it's not a make and take, but they show you how to use some of the cool products and um, you get a little freebie. So from Chestnut Ridge Sewing, we got an awesome post-it pad from Lone Star Quilt Shop. Um, Ada is, um, the owner there. She's amazing. <laughs> She's amazing. Ada. Um, she's so friendly, so lovely. Um, and we share, um, camaraderie and, and hugs and, um, stories and life updates, um, when we go and it's just, you just feel at home when you're there. So it, it is one of our favorite, uh, places to go, um, as far as quote jobs go. Lone Star. So we got that. And did I tell you that they gave us a treat at every store? So at, um, at Chestnut Ridge, um, you got a little bite to eat and you get a recipe card. I'm trying to find theirs. At Chestnut Ridge, you had vegetable frittata. So they had it already made up and then they have the recipe card for you to take home and make yourself. Just amazing. So great. And at Lone Star, we got this awesome little ruler and we had, here it is, delicious bean salad. It was so good and it was gluten-free. I was in heaven. At, let's see, Miller's. How could I forget? It's on the back. <laughs> it's on the back. Um, at Miller's Dry Goods, you got a free nail file. Love these nail files. I buy them all the time. They're worth every penny. And this awesome bookmark. See that? And it magnets over your page. So cool. And let's see, they had the pumpkin bar. I couldn't eat that one, but it looked really good. It looked really good. Everyone else enjoyed it. It looked really good. Um, let's see. And at Helping Hands, Helping Hands, here it is, right in front of me, Lauren, right in front of me. Here's the pen, Helping Hands pen. And they had an angel food dessert. Um, and it was a little piece of angel food cake and it had some fruit and some ice cream with it. So everyone enjoyed that. I gave mine to Papa. <laughs> And let's see, we got a 20% off coupon for every store. And let me just tell you, the fabrics, they were in abundance. There were so many fabrics. Okay, excuse me for a second. There were so many fabrics, y'all. We were able to pair up, and I'll do that in another video, because some of them are... Um, they're in the wash and um, getting ready to hang on the line to dry um, for our backings and a couple for piecing. But we were able to find for some quilts that we have been looking, I swear, for a year, going to the Ohio, going to Lancaster, <laughs> looking for fabrics that matched. And we finally found them. We were so excited. But listen, the fabrics, there were so many. So many, they just like stocked all the stores. We were in heaven. We were in heaven. It was so great. And it was beautiful weather and it wasn't even like very cold. Um, we had some rain, but that's okay because it didn't rain the entire day. So it was fine. Um, the drive home, however, 
I don't know if any of you live in Ohio, but the drive home, we came down 77 and hit 70 going east um, to get back over to Pennsylvania. There were tornado threats. The It was awful that late at night, it was dark. There were three jackknife tractor trailers on our way home. It was so scary. Um, it, it was all we could do, but just pray and pray and pray, y'all. And watch the weather app on our way. So we knew what we were headed for and the phones just kept dinging, tornado in your area, tornado in your area, lightning striking, you know, one mile from you and we're, we're on the highway and Lord have mercy, it was scary, but um, Karina, the best driver ever, she's a fabulous driver. She got us home safely and just made us feel calm and she was um, nervous, obviously, but not showing it. So thank you, Karina, for bringing us home safely. Mwah. Love you, sister. Um, we picked up this quilt shop hop for the fall, October 28th through November 2nd. So wonderful. This quilt shop hop has many stores. Do you see all these stores? We never make it because we spend too much time in all of the favorite stores that we have. <laughs> make it to all the stores but it's okay because you don't have to even if you just want to go to one it's fine too anyway this is to everything there is a season ohio um, quote shop hop um, help us celebrate the 24th year of shop hop and um, new exciting patterns fabrics quilts and more and you don't want to miss this year they say pick up your passport at any of the 12 participating shops during the event and let's see, it looks like on that Monday, they're going to be open from nine to six. That's fabulous. I find it frustrating that everything closes at five. We just can't get everything done by five. And no matter how early we leave and we get there super early, just can't get it all done. Anyway, it's okay because we hit up our favorites and we had um, dinner at Der Dutchman um, it wasn't as fabulous as normal, so it might have been an off day for them. I'm not sure. Maybe it was because they were so busy with all the quilters in town. <laughs> I'm not sure. But anyway, this is coming up October 28th through November 2nd. We'll be going to that. So that was that event. Oh, and we got some great new rulers. These are creative grids, and we have never used these before. So we got these at Lone Star Quilt Shop with our 20 for... 20% off coupon. So great. 20% off. There's never a 20% off out there. This ruler is going to be great. It has, I'm sure y'all can see it, but the frosted looking parts are like little grips. They're not sticky. It's just that it's rough. So when you lay it down on your fabric, it's not going to move around. So this is gonna be really, really handy. So we watched them use these. So we got the 12 by um, five, 12 by five, 12 by five. No, I'm sorry, I'm not even looking at that. 15 by five, where is my head? I better get my bifocals checked. 15 by five. Excuse me, I don't know what I was thinking. And this one is six and a half by 24 and a half. Six and a half by 24 and a half. Look at that. Just great. All these little frosted dots in there. That's the back side. So all the frosted dots in there you can see are going to be fabulous. And again, Lone Star Quilt Shop such a great bargain. They had the best price. Just saying. They did. Plus 20% off. We were sold. So that was our day in Ohio. And um, let's see. We also had the Three Rivers Quilt Show. Three Rivers Quilters Quilt Show um, in Washington, Pennsylvania at the Meadows Casino. I do believe it's there every year. Fabulous show put on by that group. Huge um, arena there for 
lots of quilts displayed and they actually have a Facebook page um, if you'd like to see the um, best of show quilts just gorgeous and then we also went to the fabric fair and it is put on by the women's auxiliary for the Salvation Army in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania and um, it wasn't quite in the city it was in um, like a Mount Lebanon area of Pittsburgh so it was at their facility and it was a very large uh, room filled with tables um, of tons of fabric and they sort everything, they label everything, um, they measure it, um, they label it with the measurement and the, and the yardage. And um, they have everything sorted into like cottons, Christmas, holiday, patterns, zippers. There were so many vintage patterns there. It was just amazing. Um, there were quilts that were partially done for sale there as well. And um, quilt kits already made up. And um, just a great um, place to go. The money all goes back to the Salvation Army that they make. So how it, how it works, excuse me again. How it works is people donate um, their fabrics and their pins and buttons, etc. cetera. Um, it was a button lover's paradise, by the way. You should have seen the button table and zippers galore. Um, they donate all of their things and then they put this fabric fair on twice a year here in Pittsburgh. I'm not sure where else they do it, but here in Pittsburgh, it's twice a year. It'll be again in October in case anyone's close by. Um, it, hit it up. It's it's great. You can pick up lots of little pieces, tons of fat quarters um, for your cross stitch finishing, for quilting. Um, if you uh, like to do little pot holders, um, the little mug rugs uh, made out of the quilt block, um, tons of, of fabric, just absolutely wonderful. Um, and yarn, lots and lots of yarn, um, crochet hooks, and anything you would need for knitting, crocheting, etc. So just a fabulous time and um, great uh, pieces that we got there as well. And uh, just very excited that all of this was happening all in one weekend. So anyway, that's everything for today. Um, just hope everybody's doing well. And hopefully, fingers crossed and lots of prayers um, that we <laughs> don't have any more of these health things happening that will keep us away from you for this long period of time. Just absolutely crazy and apologize for that. But everyone have a beautiful week. Enjoy the sunshine if you're having it. If you're having flooding, please stay safe. Um, we've had it here in Pittsburgh a lot and in our town. Um, and then um, just crazy flooding everywhere, tornadoes. Just stay safe, please listen to your officials. So um, I'll insert the um, little video snippets here at the end. I'll say goodbye to y'all now. And until next time, keep stitching. Have a great week. So just wanted to show you some of our Easter finishes. We made these cute little bunnies in all kinds of colors for everyone. So cute. And here is a little Lizzie Kate. I don't remember the name of this one, but it's so cute with the little buttons, the little chicks. And here's a daisy seed packet. This is an old design, but I'm not really sure who the designer is, but it turned out really nice as a finish. And this is our Easter tree. And just wanted to show you some of the beautiful ornaments on here. And this little egg with the chick and the daffodil painted on there is from a market in Buffalo, New York. And then we have some other cross stitch ornaments on here. Beautiful little bunny. And these beautiful egg shaped pillows. And let's move this one out of the way so you can see that bunny. So cute. I love all the little cross stitch Easter ornaments. Choo-choo. 
and another bunny down here with some trim. That's the satin rat tail and then just an eighth inch um, ribbon wrapped around the rat tail attached on to that little pillow. And here's another beautiful egg with the Krynik gold filament mixed in there. And here's a cute little bunny with some tulips made into a rectangle pillow. And we also made the um, paper ornaments, these. We cut out the little egg shapes and the, everybody's um, initial for their first name. And then these are, this is on a styrofoam egg, actually. It's really pretty. And it's got the lace on the sides and then the same design on the back. And then these are on styrofoam as well. And then it's just the um, pretty quarter inch ribbon and some flowers pinned on with some pearls. So that's our Easter tree. There's some Hallmark ornaments on here and just ornaments that we've collected from different stores and vacation spots that we've been to. There's another cute little satin um, egg shape ornament. And it says happy Easter on there. Sorry about that. Happy Easter. So that's our Easter tree. And just give you a beautiful shot of that antique dresser and our shelf that Papa made. And then the mountains there with some Easter decor. And here's one that is finished as a flat fold, a mounted flat fold. That's just a cute little leisure arts design. And here's the little Easter niche with the green moss bunnies and some carrots and eggs. We actually wrapped the twine jute around. That's like a baker's twine, but it was a little bit um, sturdier than the baker's twine and wrap that around the um, plain craft eggs that you can buy at Hobby Lobby and Walmart. And then this is a Happy Hoppy Easter Lizzie Kate. And we actually um, purchased this is from the clearance section in Hobby Lobby and we found the perfect green, painted it green and then mounted the cross stitch inside. And then we made our um, cording there with the Krynik Custom Quarter and put all that together, it came out really nice. And this is the Lizzie Kate, I believe this is a bit of months um, from Lizzie Kate, and that's mounted flat fold there. Some beautiful alabaster Easter eggs from William Sonoma, and then my grandfather actually made this bunny basket a long time ago and we filled it with the vintage felted eggs there. It's so cute. And this little bunny is done on the perforated paper and we mounted her with the double-sided tape to the fabric covered board. And then we painted this little frame that we had on hand and um, mounted the fabric board inside there came out great. And then this is one of the little Mill Hill bead kits, the little sheep egg, so cute. And this is the Lizzie Kate stamps. This is April month, mounted flat fold as well. And then this is a um, Lizzie Kate Easter design. I can't remember the name of this one either, but this is a mounted flat fold and again with the custom cording there and the cute little lavender buttons and the carrot ribbon came out perfect. This is a tomato pincushion design from one of the Sue Hillis sled books and this came out really nice. Not sure how we're gonna finish this one yet, but definitely um, enjoyed stitching this one. This beautiful robin design, um, Isabella stitched 
up real quick in one evening and she wasn't sure how to finish it but she had some inspiration from the pattern and she finished it and created this beautiful pillow design all herself did all the measuring and cutting herself and then it has the beautiful peach um, fabric on the back that is the same on the front and that just accents the robin's belly so well and she did such a nice job. It was the first pillow she made and she stuffed it and hand stitched up the bottom um, herself. And she did a beautiful job um, with that. Congratulations to her on her first pillow. And then we have, these are two beautiful Easter baskets that Nana had made quite some time ago. And they were for um, Karina and I. And we bring them out every year, they're so precious. And this is a pansy design seed packet finished into a beautiful pillow with the matching purple fabric. And then just the pillow technique with the fold over there. And the last Easter pillow here, this was stitched by Isabella, got a little fuzzy there, and finished into this beautiful pillow with the Easter baskets fabric that came out nice and again just the same finish on the back um, with the fold over finish 